Hi everybody, Michelle Geomatix here today with a short training tip on how to fix a piece of spatial data that's missing its coordinate system or its projection file more specifically. This is a continuation of a demo I did previously, a video for which I showed projection on the fly and how it works. So you see on the screen I have the world countries and then a few individual countries and a lakes layer that I've added from the previous demo. If I add that last piece of data again, which was the Arizona counties, which you may recall was missing its projection file, you'll see what happens here. So here's my Arizona counties. I'll add it to this data frame, and the data frame is set to WGS84 lat long. And this piece of data is missing its coordinate system, its projection file. So ArcMap throws up a warning. I'll say OK. And it added the data, but I don't see it anywhere. Let's just change the color so it will stand out, so I really would see it. And again, it's not there. If I zoom to the layer, I see that it's been added to the map. But if I zoom to the full extent, I see that things are really out of whack here. Notice as I hover over the data in the real-time XY readout, the coordinates are far out of what the latitude and longitude system allows. So ArcMap is trying to force this piece of data to fit into the coordinate system of the data frame, which currently is set to WGS84 lat long. And the coordinates make no sense there because clearly they're not in latitude longitude. So my goal, what I need to do if I want to use this data, is number one, figure out what the correct coordinate system for this piece of data is. And then number two, use the define projection tool to define the projection so that I can use it in ArcMap and ArcMap will have all the information it needs to properly line it up with my other data. We'll remove it from here for now. What you see below are two different data frames. I'm just going to activate one and this one is, uh, it contains some reference data. My reference data are minor highways in Arizona and this data frame shows the minor highways which have been projected to the state plane NAT83 coordinate system. And I'll add the Arizona counties layer to this data frame and see how it lines up or doesn't line up with respect to the reference data. I chose state plane NAT83 because it's a very common coordinate system used in the United States. So it's set to one of the Arizona state plane systems. So let's add this Arizona counties shapefile and see what happens here. So again, the spatial reference warning, it's unknown spatial reference. And again, I added it, but I don't see it. So let's just zoom out to the full layer, or to the full extent, and you see, again, severe misalignment. So as I hover over my data, again, I'm seeing the same coordinates as I saw before, but this time ArcMap is trying to force it into being in the NAT83 state plane coordinate system that my reference data are in. And clearly, that's not the right one. So let's activate the third data frame. This one shows the same reference data, except for it's been projected in UTM NAT83 zone 12 north for Arizona. So we'll add Arizona counties, unknown spatial reference, and you can see this time that it lines up. So it looks like we found a winner. So you might want to uh, do a little more refining, investigate to make sure there's no datum shift or any other types of misalignment issues before you go ahead and conclude that yes, this is the right one. But for this demo, I know that this is the right one, so I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is to use the Define Projection tool to give this piece of data what it needs so ArcMap can use it properly. So let's go into the Arc Toolbox, and I've already navigated to it there, but you see in the Data Management Tools, there's a Projections and Transformations tool set, and inside here is where we have the Define Projection tool. I'll just double click to open it, Define projection is very simple. It asks for the input data set, which is the one that's missing its coordinate system. And then it asks what coordinate system are you assigning to it. And I always like to emphasize to my students here that this is not the coordinate system that you want it to be, but is the one that the data is actually referencing. That's why I went to the trouble of creating these separate data frames with reference data and different coordinate systems to suss out what is the correct coordinate system for this Arizona County's layer? You don't just get to say, well, it'd be really nice if my data were in such and such coordinate system, so I'll define it that way. 
The reality is your data have some inherent coordinate system associated with them. And if the projection file is missing, you have to do this detective work to find out what is the right one. And then like I'm doing, assign it. So I'll assign the NAT83 UTM Zone 12 North, which I have stored as one of my favorites. It's a common one I use here in Arizona. And I'll just run this tool. Very simple. And so let's come back and activate the top data frame. And we'll add this layer now that its projection file has been defined. And this time it's a geographic coordinate systems warning. It's uh, in a different datum than what my data frame. My data frame's in WGS84. This piece of data is in NAT83. So we can choose one of the transformations. So we want to convert from North American NAT83 into WGS84. And we'll use uh, number five, which is for the continental US. Again, this requires some research to know which one to use. And when we add the data, we see that it lines up. Let's color it red again so we can really see it. There we go. So it's lined up where Arizona is, and those counties are in proper geographic alignment. So that completes this demo, and this is Michelle Geomatic saying bye for now.